Can you look chic in leggings? Absolutely. Keep watching to find out how. Hello everyone, it's me Serena. So nice to have you with me here again today. You know, leggings are a wardrobe staple and I know I reach for them several times a week this time of year, but I don't want to look like a complete slob when I'm wearing leggings. I'd like to look pulled together. I don't always want to look very casual when I'm in leggings. So I thought I would put together some outfits with my leggings that show you how you can wear them no matter what your age and look chic and pulled together. Now, since I am 53 years old, I titled this video, you know, outfit ideas for women over 50, but this can apply no matter what your age. I think if you want to wear leggings in the fall and winter and look pulled together and nice, these are just some easy ways to do that. And I'm going to show you how to put these outfits together and the items I'm using. And as always, I will have links to everything that I can find included down in the description box below. To access that description box, you want to tap on the title of the video, or if the title is down below the video on your device that you're watching on, just tap or click where it says dot 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 more. That will open up the description box. That's where I put all the product links, all my information, you know, my height, weight, sizes I'm wearing, all that good stuff will be in the description. A really easy way to look chic and classy, even when you're wearing leggings, is to stick to a neutral color palette. So you're gonna see a lot of neutrals in today's video, but this first look is a classic that always looks chic, and that is black and camel. Now the leggings that I'm gonna be wearing in most of the looks today are my faux leather leggings from CRZ Yoga. I do have the Spanx leggings, and yes, they are great, but they have a lot of compression. So I will wear those when I really want to be sucked in. But if I don't need to be really sucked in, I'm wearing these from CRZ Yoga. I know some of you aren't fond of the faux leather look in leggings. So I'm also going to include links to some Ponty Knit leggings. Loft has some, Chico's has some. So I will include links to those down below. Those are a little bit more pant-like material. So in this first look, I'm wearing the, the black faux leather leggings with a thin black sweater from Banana Republic Factory and topping it off with this long cardigan jacket kind of piece from J. Crew Factory. I really think you can't go wrong with keeping your base layer all black and then just topping it off with another color. And to add some visual interest, I included these leopard print pointed toe flats from Vivaya and my checkered Louis Vuitton never full tote. Now this sweater is not tunic length and I think you can get away with that as long as you're wearing a third layer on top that does come down long and provides some more coverage for you. But if you have a sweater that is longer and comes all the way down and covers your front and back parts, then that is fine too. This is an outfit I would wear working. I would wear it out to run errands to appointments. I would really wear it anywhere. It's a very chic look, but you're so comfortable. This next look is a little more casual, but it's still chic and pulled together. And it's just a white tee with this Juliet coat again from J. Crew over the top of it. Now this is a popular item. You see these all over social media, these Codigans. And it gets that name, I guess, because it's kind of like a cardigan, but it's kind of like a coat. It's longer. It has this fold over collar detail. I went with the one from J. Crew because I tried some of the dupes from Amazon and they were all way too big. Uh, this runs big anyway the J. Crew one, I'm wearing it in an extra small and it is still plenty roomy. So I definitely recommend sizing down in this one if you decide to get it. But it is just a really nice versatile piece. Comes down nice and long, almost to my knees. 
it just gives a chic look to a very casual outfit because I'm just wearing a white tee, leggings, and sneakers. But this just elevates it and gives you that pulled together look. Since the coat again is kind of oversized, I chose to wear a crossbody bag with it because that helps to just kind of break things up a little bit and give a hint at the kind of shape you have underneath it. So this is a great travel kind of outfit if you're flying on a plane, going somewhere, or a car trip, or just running your errands. This is a very comfortable outfit, and it's a light layer that will keep you warm, but without overheating you. Let's see what's next. Stripes are always a classic, but this fall striped sweaters are really, really big. And I picked up this striped sweater from Amazon a while back. And for me, it is the perfect sweater to wear with leggings. It is super soft and comfy, not itchy or scratchy at all. And the length for me, again, is just right. Now, if you're taller, this might be a little bit short on you, but for me at 5'2", it works. And I did a reel featuring this outfit and put it on Instagram and Facebook. And I got a lot of comments from people saying that I shouldn't wear white sneakers with this cream colored sweater. And so I'm asking you guys, <laughs> what do you think? I thought that white sneakers, you could put those with anything. And I guess, yes, I could wear this with black boots, Chelsea boots or something, and that would look good. But I wanted to wear this in a more casual way, so I just put on sneakers. And I didn't think it was that big of a deal. So I know a lot of people think that you shouldn't mix cream and white, but that's kind of an outdated style rule. So let me know what you think. It doesn't bother me, but some people thought it looked bad with the white sneakers. But I think it looks great and it's comfy and it's another great way to look chic in your leggings. I really love this next look because it is preppy vibes with leggings. And it features this oversized cardigan. I picked this up from Amazon as well and I just love it. I've been wearing the heck out of this cardigan. It is so soft and cozy. It's just one of those oversized grandpa or boyfriend style cardigans and it is long enough that I can wear it with leggings. And here I've layered it over an oversized longer white button-up shirt. This one is from Target and I am wearing this sweater in either a small or extra small. It, it runs really big. I'll have to check the tag and I'll put my size info for this and everything else down in the description. But the blouse, it is a size medium. It's an oversized blouse, but then I went even bigger to make it bigger and longer. But I love the way this looks. And I also love adding a pop of red when I have a black and gray outfit. I think red just sets it off so nicely and adds a little pop of color and some interest to an otherwise very neutral outfit. Now I can also wear this sweater just by itself or I'll wear a tank under it like I am here. Tank and then the sweater buttoned all the way up and then with sneakers and this makes a really cute more casual outfit too. You know you really can't go wrong with a monochromatic look and in this outfit I'm wearing it looks like black but it's really a charcoal gray tunic sweater. This is actually from Walmart, but I've had it for a couple of years. It's from the Free Assembly line, and it has held up great. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's comfortable, and they have one similar this year, except it has kind of a stand-up turtleneck, so I will link it down below because this one is no longer available, but I love a monochromatic look in this charcoal gray with the black leggings and the black boots. This is a little bit of an elevated look and the boots are also from Walmart. They're last year from Scoop and I think they might be still available. If they are, I'll be sure to link them down below. But I love this outfit. This is one of those no-brainer outfits when you don't want to think about what you're wearing. You know, just dress in 
a monochromatic outfit and you can never go wrong. But you can also change up this core outfit and make it more casual. This would be great for a cold, drizzly, or rainy day. I swapped out the boots for these little mini Ugg boots. Well, they're not Ugg. They're actually by Bear Paw because I couldn't find my size in Ugg last year. So I got these dupes from Bear Paw and I love them. They keep my feet so warm. And this trench coat. The trench coat is from Amazon and I picked it up earlier this fall and I just can't say enough good things about it. It is such great quality for the price. And I'm wearing the sweater in a small and the coat in a size small as well. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know to make more content just like this. And hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. I know a lot of you watching are not subscribed, so what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of my new content here on my channel. And if you want to see even more style content daily, be sure to follow me on the Like to Know It app and Instagram or Facebook. Everything I post on Instagram is carried over to Facebook as well. So either place you can follow me. And the great thing about the Like to Know It app is you'll see things that you don't necessarily get to see here. I'm doing lots of collages, lots of gift ideas and things for the holiday season. So be sure you're following me there so you don't miss out on any of that. Next, I've got another great Amazon sweater. This one I just got in a few days ago and I'm loving it. It is this V-neck gray sweater. Of course, it comes in a ton of different colors because it's from Amazon. I just tend to like my neutrals. I lean toward grays and whites and camel colors when it comes to pairing with black. But this one is so fun. It's got these really high slits on the side. So I just want to make you aware of that. Now it's fine for me, but I'm petite. I'm short and these are high-waisted leggings. So I do not have any issue with skin showing through these slits on the sides but that may vary depending on your body type, your height, that kind of thing. So I think this would also be cute layered with a white button up underneath it. And then the button up could, you know, show out the sides, the slits on the sides. But I like it just as it is. This sweater is silky, soft and comfortable. It's got these ribbed knit sleeves, the v-neck, which of course I love a v-neck, and it's not too big and bulky. You know, some of the sweaters that I've ordered on Amazon, I've ended up sending them back just because they're so boxy and wide. This one is not. This one is definitely a winner, and I will be wearing it a lot with my leggings this season. And on my feet, I'm wearing my good old Blondo Chelsea boots that you guys have seen a ton, and I've added a chunky sock to Go with it. That is something different. Socks are back big time. So if you don't have any chunky socks and you're somebody who loves to wear thick socks to keep your feet and ankles warm, you are in luck this season because socks are definitely back. So this is a cute way to keep warm and be stylish this fall and winter. This next look is one of my favorites also. This sweater has been a favorite of mine for a while and you guys love it too. It's from Amazon and I like it because it has these bat wing style sleeves and then it's got this kind of asymmetrical hem where it comes up in the front and then it gets a little longer in the back. It just gives it a little more visual interest. And the sweater is cream. I know it may be coming across as white here on camera but it is a cream color so I decided to swap out those black leggings for some brown ones and do another monochromatic outfit just in different shades of brown tan and cream the boots are from Target you guys have been seeing these on my channel I absolutely love them they are so gorgeous and have a very 
comfortable walkable heel that's only about two inches tall. They look fabulous with dresses, but I think they look pretty good here with the leggings too. So just another chic outfit with leggings. Remember, I have linked everything from today's video down in the description for easy browsing and shopping. So have I convinced you that leggings can look chic? Let me know down in the comments and let me know what your favorite look from today was. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.